Morning, beautiful people. Uh, this is Brad from the beach. Uh, excited about being with you again this morning. Uh, as I was just looking through my book here, uh, yesterday we talked a little bit out of John chapter 20, uh, and my eyes just sort of lit, shifted over to John 21 to a passage that I've preached from on many times uh, in, in the years that I've been in ministry. But I'd like to point out one particular aspect of this to you today. This is that time where Jesus has been resurrected. He's been raised from the dead. These guys are challenged now to get on with their stuff. Jesus uh, is just uh, not giving up on these guys, you know? Uh, and so he went looking for them after Peter said, I'm gonna go back fishing. And some of the guys said, yeah, we'll go with you. And, and Jesus went down to the Galilee looking for them, not angry with them, not giving up on them, but went down to the Galilee looking for them. And that's where on the shore he cries out when he sees them in the boat, have you caught any fish? And they say no. And then he says, put the net on the other side. And they do. And then all these fish get inside the net. The interesting thing for this passage here out of John 21 is simply that Jesus never gives up on us. You might be at a place where you've been discouraged. You might be at a place where your faith is weak. You might be at a place where you just want to chunk it all and go back to the world. Let me, let me say this to you. Jesus is not going to give up on you. He's going to come looking for you. He loves you that much. And if you will just pause for a moment, you're going to run into goodness. You're going to run into Him. So please, be of good cheer in this season. Cast off discouragement by knowing that even if you fail, even if it gets beyond what you really think you can trust and believe in, that He is not going to give up on you. But do this. Whenever you're confronted then in the midst of your wilderness experience or even your rebellion, when you are confronted by the Holy Spirit and you hear that challenge and He simply says, step over here. Go over there. Trust this to me. Obey that. And as you do, I promise you, you will see the miraculous happen. You will see things that you need come out of nothing. You will see your mind renewed by His power and presence. You will see Him provide for you in ways you never dreamed possible. When the Holy Spirit touches you, don't let your own failure separate you from that voice. Hear that voice, obey what He says, and I promise you, your life will never be the same again. This is Bread from the Beach. Be blessed.